I'm going to start uh, mine off because I want to talk about the the V family, the VCon, all this sort of stuff because it came out very recent as well. Uh, so it's for the folks who have listened to us talk about cryptocurrency, this is not crypto. This is actually not, I'm not talking about crypto. This is like using crypto to buy things. But there's some, there's some concepts to it. So let's see if I can explain it fully. So Gary's been touting this. Gary V, go, go look him up if you know who he is. He's been touting that he's going to be releasing his own NFT art, basically, right? But he's going to be doing it with a little bit of a spin, a little bit of a twist, and he's going to give back to the community. Now, I thought originally that he was going to just create, he was doing like some drawings and doodles, and it was like the calm tiger, the the strong antler, stuff like that, right? And I was like, okay, this is going to be pretty cool. I think I'd like to purchase one. I think it'd be a, kind of like buying a, uh, a playing card, but a digital one, kind of like NBA tops that exist as well in the NFT world. I thought, okay, these sort of nifties, they're going to be pretty cool. People want them. Maybe I can buy it for an Ethereum or two Ethereum, and maybe it can, it'd can be invested. I can resell it for double that or triple that, right? So that was the idea until he released it, right? And so he released it, but he had technical trouble in actually getting it so you could actually purchase it, which is good because with the parabolic rise in Ethereum, I haven't been able to buy a single one. So I've been like, $300, I'll wait until it gets to two and a half, gets to three and a half. <laughs> now I'm three and a half, I'll wait until it gets $3,000, $4,000. I'll wait until it gets to the $3,000, $5,000. I'm like, God damn, am I even going to buy this? So regardless of that though, he has created, and I don't know if this already exists uh, otherwise. So if it does, for the people who know about nifties, NFTs, could, good on you, thank you, whatever. There's coming, there's wine information. But so his is a nifty with a smart contract behind it, which means it. So he's basically, I'll give you a breakdown. He's got, over 10,000, so like 10,600 odd um, NFTs to give away. Yeah, so what are they? Are they ha- he hasn't done that many drawings, has he? So he's, draw- he's drawn, I believe it's 20 different drawings. And each one of those drawings are going to have different backing. So imagine his drawing, he's moved that into a digital format and he's given made them into like cards. And each card, like, there's lots of in diamonds or gold or uh, bubble gum. And then it's in different, uh, some have just like white backgrounds, right? So, okay, cool. But the very basic level, what, what do they get you? So it's a white thing with, I think it's like a fly or something like that. I think this is the picture. So the very basic one, what does that give you? Well, you purchase it and cool, you own that collector's item. But you also get the smart contract that goes behind it, which is Gary wants to throw a conference, kind of like a conference that you'd imagine maybe a Tony Robbins to do with his... Um, Day with Destiny and a couple of others. Imagine that. But he wants to do three over the next three years, so 2022, 23, 24. And only if you have one of those NFTs can you attend. That's basically your ticket to go in. And that's the basic thing that all of those icons will give you or any of those NFTs will give you. So there's, I think it's like 600 or maybe even more, like a couple of thousand. No, I think it's actually even more, like 9,000 of them. I just got called Axis NFTs. So if you buy one, you might buy it for one or two Ethereum. You get the collector's item, but there's a smart contract so that you can go to these digital events. But it also holds so that you can also give them away to other people, right? So you can resell them if you want to, and that other person gets a new contract. But say you go to the 20, 2022 uh, event, it can get digitally sort of crossed off on the blockchain, and then you can give it off to someone else if they really want it, right? So it's got like that sort of tradability. But as it goes up in the rarity levels, some of them are like, you get 90-minute dinner with Gary V. You can go courtside with Gary V if you have this token. You can, you get to spend 40 hours for one week with Gary and his whole team to talk through like your ideas, what you want to do, etc. cetera. There's, all, there's 555 uh, GOAT gift tokens. And and so those are, are they just one-off uses? So, so it's not some like, of them are like one-off uses, yeah. correct. But then once you use it, you still keep it, right? So he gave a couple of comparisons if it, if it seems a bit weird. But, you know, in the essence, he's got given all these things and it seems to me like the variety was, like, oh, you know, some of them are going to be sold for one Ethereum. Some of these really bigger ones are like 10, 20 Ethereum and it's going to be done in a Dutch auction. So it's going to start at a particular top and just quickly go down to a, a bottom level, right? The smartness of it all though, I thought, okay, that to me, I was like, that's really cool. That sort of digitally smart contract in NFTs. And I thought, oh man, there would be a lot of cool stuff that you could do with this. So I wanted to pose a question like, ooh, could you imagine other users for something like that? 